Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome to St. Catherine's. Uh, tonight, we're doing this with Ultimate Haunted TV. So, you ladies and gentlemen here tonight, you're going to be on the Ultimate Haunted TV, which is a YouTube channel. And what we're doing is, just to let you little, know about a little bit of what we do with Ultimate Haunted TV, is that we're collating 10 investigations, we're going to put them together, and then hopefully we're going to deliver to Sky, so you might see yourself on telly as well, if that's alright. Okay. If you don't want to be seen on the camera tonight, then just sort of stand behind it, you know? But, <laughs> <laughs> but I think you ladies might be divas tonight when, when you look. Okay. Um, too late. Too late. <laughs> St. Catherine is, is, is an interesting place. Um, before, before I actually go on, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to take you over to the lady. Okay. And uh, if you just give us a bit of uh, health and safety talk, if you don't mind. And also, we're going to get a little bit of history as well. Okay, just a little bit, not too much, but just a little bit. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to St. Catherine's House. Um, my name is Wendy Parks, and I'm one of the managers of the building, uh, which is currently run by a community interest company called Flourish Enterprises. It's actually still owned by the NHS but uh, is managed by Flourish. Uh, I've got the boring bit really tonight, and a bit of health and safety. So if I can just remind everybody that this is a grade two listed building. Um, the, it's a no smoking venue. So the smoke detectors are very sensitive. So if anybody sneaks off anywhere for a cigarette, um, the detectors will pick it up. Uh, and unfortunately that'll be the end of the evening and probably the end of my job. So please don't sneak off anywhere for a, a crafty cigarette. You will be going around the building and probably some of the areas will be quite dark. Um, there are some lights that will automatically come on and they are safety lights. Um, the lights down to the basement will have to remain on because the steps are steepish. Um, down in the basement, if anybody is there at the end of the evening, that is where you will stay. I will not be coming to rescue you from down there. So, oh, so it's when... Then. Pardon? Overnight then. Uh, maybe for you, <laughs> if you're down there, <laughs> when I lock this building and go home. <laughs> but I will not be coming down there to rescue you. I hope you have a really good evening. Uh, try not to be too frightened and please come back and see us in daylight hours because it's quite a nice building when you see it in the daytime and we have a, a nice walled garden for people to look around and a tea room so enjoy your evening thank you wendy thank wendy you. just before you go yes um have you got a record of, of names of the previous people that were, were here so like went we, to the hospital or we do have but unfortunately we can't share those oh. um as the records um, go up to the 1970s mm -hmm. and there might still be people that yeah. uh, are living that are in there mm -hmm. and with data protection and one thing or another we're of not course. allowed to share that um, but they're very interesting books and they're all handwritten in beautiful copper plate English um, mm -hmm. very very interesting um, to read uh, unfortunately the language that was used back in the day would have been imbecile, mental, idiot. mentally deficient. I've seen that when they put idiot. Yeah, idiot. idiot. Uh, and to us now, it's shameful that but that mm. that's the language that used to be used. Unfortunately, uh, we've come a long way since then and we recognise that uh, by the grace of God, anybody that has mental health problems, it could be any one of us. So mm. we're very supportive of, of um, people. Okay, so again, like this is for Ultimate Haunted TV tonight. What we're going to do for this to work tonight, for all these experiments to work tonight, what I want to do is introduce everybody so we're working as a team and everybody knows each other's names. So we'll just start with this young lady here. Hi, I'm Tina. I'm Mick. <laughs> just tell a little bit about yourself, why are you here tonight? <laughs> <laughs> okay then. <laughs> so he's not going to do that. Just see what happens and that. Yeah. Open-minded. Open-mindedness. 
Let me just take you over to the fresh meat over here. This is a fresh meat section here tonight. You're all new. <laughs> yeah, you've never been on anything like this before. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's very sick, isn't it? Yeah. Hi, Amber. Hi, Amber. So, why are you here tonight? I've got talked into it, brother. You've talked into it, I'll tell you. You've got the best gang. I am Julie, and I'm uh, just interested in coming over and seeing what, you know, what happens. And, you know. I'm Amy, we went on this the Spirit Seekers, Spirit Seekers one before, it was much smaller and not as, there wasn't as much stuff happening. There wasn't as many experiments about it really, was there, so I wanted to try something a bit more in depth. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> I'm Sarah. I didn't get dragged, but yeah, my hands are starting to sweat a bit now. But yeah, uh, new experiences and Julie and Amy. So when your hands sweat, Sarah, does that mean you're getting nervous? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. I'm Hannah, and I got talked into it. Are you, are, you, are you fresh meat, Anna? Yeah. 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 Yes. Okay. I love fresh meat. <laughs> okay, you're going for the more experienced people. Hi, I'm Viv. Um, I've done a few of these and yeah, always interested to learn more and find out what's happening. Yeah. I'm John, Viv's husband. Uh, we've been working with John Blackburn for too many years now. Um, he always tends to find some fairly decent locations, so we come along and see what happens. Okay. The last four, the Motley Crew. Hi, I'm Michael. Uh, been on John's investigations about three years now. It's just, just getting interesting. Excellent. Hi, I'm Catherine. Um, yeah, I've been a friend of Michael. We've been coming for three years or so. Quite excited about finding out what's happening tonight. Hi, I'm Jim. I've been coming with John for about ten years now and enjoying every moment on it and it just gets better. Hi, I'm Stephen. I've been coming with John for 10 years, same as Jim, and still enjoy coming. Awesome. Okay, so we're a team now. Yeah, we're all interlinked and we're all working together as a team. Now then, what we do tonight, guys, is anything that we do tonight is all about energy. That's what I do. I work with energy at the end of the day. You've probably been to other places before now, not poo poo what anybody else does. But they probably all use meters and stuff like that, little flashing lights and stuff like that. We don't do that, okay? What we do is something completely different. We get you to work with energy. And uh, that's what we're going to do in a little while. So, without further ado, I want to take it this way. We're going to do a little bit of an energy workshop because you're new, okay? I want you to get sense in that. Do you know what I think I'll do actually, guys? Is because you're the more seasoned ones, okay? You've done all what I've got to do tonight. So I'm going to take you all together and leave you all in the room on your own. Okay? Well, so I'll leave these ladies here because I need to work with you a little bit. Is that okay? Alright, so what I'll do is, can I just leave you there for a second? And I'm just going to take my on this way. Come on, guys. You, John. We're going to you. Okay, ladies, we've settled them down, so it's your turn. So, you want to follow me? forward now. Come forward, your fingers start to tingle. Mm. We ask you to come down and join us and start to communicate with me, please. Can you take the arms away from the body for me, please? Take the arms higher for me. Take them higher for me. Take them away from the body just to show that you're working with me now. Take them away from the body to show that you're working with me now. Take them away from the body. Thank 
Arm to tingle and all. Yeah. Take your eye off. Take your eye off. Come on now. Push your arms. Push your arms. Come on. Come on now. How do you feel? Do you know if it's still on? Swing? Feel the pressure on your shoulder. Yeah. 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 Strong. 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 Come on. 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 You're resisting the answers. What's happening now? With your eyes closed, what's happening now? My leg. What should do? What's happening to your leg? Pushing. It's pushing. Okay, is it pushing forward? Yeah. Okay. It's starting to get stronger. Did this little workshop I'm hoping that, that it's kind of made you a little bit more tuned in. So how do you feel in your ladies? I feel comfortable. Comfortable. Okay. I, see, see I find it um this electric in the air as you can feel it. Definitely statue. And do you know as I'm standing here now? I've been drawn to this particular spot here. And for me as a gentleman, okay, and I find him is quite a stout ge gentleman, but he's a man of authority. Is that what anything anybody got anything like that? Is that who you're on about? Yeah. The boss of cigarette. What I told you over there. Can't put well, on maybe it's a journalist now, so he's moving. Come and get your cigarette out for him. He wants it, so he's there for him. It's like a, you know, the first name is like a, it's got a G. And it's like a, it's not George, it's like um, Mother Jeffrey, I think it's Mother Jeffrey. And he's a man of distinction, he's a, he's a man with a lot of money, this guy is a lot of money and power. Um, more. I'd say he's got more authority. I think I'm going off, you know, the wealth of him. I don't think he's like massively, massively wealthy. I'm, I'm wrong in saying that, but I feel like he's more uh, authority. And obviously, you know, we, we know, know where we are. Um, but the thing is about him is. I, I feel that he, he was controlled in the nursing staff. Okay. It's funny, you know the more I walk up and down here now that I feel that like this is... He, he was a man on the move, you know, he's, he's like... Whenever he spoke to his staff, I feel I felt like he was always on the move doing it. Hands behind the back. 
Is that what you got? Yeah. So I'll tell you what, I'll stop there then. And is that something similar to you guys got? That way, or that way, walking by a desk. Okay. So, what did you get whilst we were in the other room, just out, mm -hmm. out of interest? Because you guys are doing more, you know, the, the long term pe people here have done it for a while, so it'd be interesting to see what you've felt here tonight. I was getting a guy that's the gaffer, you know, boss, mm. bald head, glasses, well, it's, where's he is that? But you all right? Mm -hmm. And he's having an affair one at patients. Okay. Roughly about there. Mm -hmm. Did you, you felt he was a man of power? Yeah, with the boss in there, so. Yeah. Okay. Anybody else? Was he Natash? Are you asking me or? Both of yes. Yeah, he's got a Tash. You know them um, round glasses that are black rimmed? Mm -hmm. Yeah, them one. Okay. Anybody else? I kept on thinking that there was somebody in the corner over there. Yeah. Um, just, it would come in and then it would fade out. Fairly tallish, about almost up to, well, not almost up top of the door, but maybe about a foot lower than the top, than the top of the door. Yeah. Couldn't make any figures out, anything of his features or anything of that nature, but it just keeps on it. It'll appear and then it just kind of fades into the background and then it reappears. And Bill's guys. I did think there's something that came around about that same corner, but I'm not sure. It's all interesting stuff though, it's clear. A lot of it seems to be connected that with. That door made a strange sound. And when you opened that one, I'll come in, that door didn't budge. Mm. Right. But it made a strange sound before. Yeah. Okay. Right. This is an interesting place. I've, not, I've had a quick walk around before. Um, so I think we need to move on, guys, if that's okay. So we can walk this way. You know, for me, it's absolutely buzzing, do you not think? Yeah. Absolutely buzzing. And you know, as I'm walking here now, so I'll just walk around here now. There we go. I'm walking here, and as I'm walking this direction, right here, it gets me right in the chest there. Is that what yeah. you've got? Yeah. Look at all that. Yeah, it is. It's right it's there, isn't it? <clears throat> And the thing about this room is, for, for me, there's a lot of death in this room. And the, the thing that I see in this room is, and to be honest with you, I'm being perfectly honest with you, okay, she, she told me nothing, you know, Wendy before, when she, when she did a health and safety talk and stuff. She brought me down here, walked straight into this room, and, it's, and, and all I saw was death, and I said, I said, Wendy, this has got to be the morgue. Okay. And, and yeah, it is. This, this, this used to be where they used to put quite a lot of dead bodies at the time. Um, got it? An interesting experiment in here later on. And what we're going to do is called a conduction rope experiment. And it's about energy. It's about the conduction of energy. Do you know what? I don't, I don't know if there's any, is there any people with like medical experience here or anything? No? Okay. 
I feel that, do you know, like, years ago they made some mistakes sometimes when, and I think it probably still happens today, but you know when someone's been pronounced dead but they're not? And this is the feeling that I get with somebody that was here at the time, and I feel that that person here was on... You all right? Pain outside of my neck. There, yeah, you okay? Yeah. You right? Yeah. And I feel that this person was on the fringe of death, but they weren't dead. They weren't completely dead, and but they, but they were left here. Because they weren't I don't know, but but for me, they were left here by mistake. This, this is what I get. They were left here by mistake, and it, it was a long death, and no, nobody knew about it. So ultimately the person died. This is, this is what I'm getting in here. Ultimately the person died, but it took a while. And I feel that the energy of this person, this is a, do you know they say that hauntings? Why a lot of hauntings are down to trauma. And I do feel that a lot of that trauma is here. And it's down to that one per person. Just keep it in Is it on your neck? Well, have you got it as well? Yeah. It feels like heavy in my chest. Mm -hmm. It's very heavy on the chest, yeah. isn't it? Isn't it? Mm -hmm. You know, yonder up there, John. Yeah. There used to be all up under there. The what, sir? Over there where it's all big black square. Yeah. Did anyone used to hide there or something used to happen there? Oh, there, yeah, sorry. Right? Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm not too sure, to be honest. Is it another doorway? Because that caught my eyes when we came in. Should we just have a... I'll just shine my torch on it. Don't pipe sound. Yeah, just pipe. Mm -hmm. well, but, but, I mean, obviously it's not always been... Well, like, I don't know, actually, because it's quite old, I don't know. You could do, you could do it. I was, like, drawn to that, and then we came yeah. in. What, was that now? It would have been a well. Yeah, it was quite deep. Are you, you can widen that. Yeah, that's not how it is. What? Drop some of it down there. Oh, sorry. Oh. Oh, sorry. Some random oil, yeah. Okay, hey guys, I'm going to turn the light off. Okay, in for the the in cupboard. Tell me what you think this place used to be. Storage. Mm. Bodies. Yeah. Well? Storage for bodies. What, the body parts? <gasps> <laughs> they keep hot schools in here. The what, sorry? Hot schools, you know, people's heads and that. Okay, anybody else? Hot schools. Yeah. It's quite gory, this, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You reckon? I reckon food storage. Food storage bang on, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're gory, you lot. You've been chatting to Wendy. <laughs> I haven't talked to Wendy at all. <laughs> I have. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I've been about about the food food storage. Yeah. Cold anyway. lard, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> but you know what? Even though it's a uh, yeah, it, well, it used to be a cold larder, but it isn't anymore. It's quite warm, isn't it? But uh, the thing is, you know, there's still energy here, isn't it? You can still feel it. Does everybody feel that? It, it kind of, to me, it feels it's just, just as, you know, energises next, next door. Um, and the other thing about this room is a, a little experiment we've got later on called Blind Man, Man's Buff. Um, and I've played that since I was 10. Alright, okay. Uh, and, and we'll sort of co cover that later on. That's Blind Man's Buff later on. Um, do you know what? I'm, I don't want to say anything about this room because of that reason. All right. I do see something in, in my head at the moment, but I'm not going to say anything because of that reason. Because I, I don't want to put anything into anybody's mind or anything like that. So, um, let's just have a quicker look at time check. Let's have a look. <laughs> okay. Do you believe it's 10 o'clock? So, moving on, guys. Let's keep moving on. Okay. <laughs> OK, 
guys. Just thought you know that this bit is out of bounds, okay. Um, but Mike was saying before, he was down here before filming, and he heard things being being thrown down there, so uh, that, that was like, quite interesting. Is that stairs? No, no it's not. It, it, it's like if you go down, I know we're not supposed to, but I did, it, it leads straight outside, it's where stuff comes out, like gate and things on top. Oh, right, okay. Mmm, mm. interesting. Let's hope Maxine answers tonight. Hi. I like this. I like this. Hi, Max. There we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> okay. Um, you want to walk this way? Kelly Expert, guys, is the one with the dog. So I'm going to To make it so it goes a bit dim, so you can just about see it. Okay. I don't want it too bright because it doesn't really work when it's too bright. To see if it gets too dark. Let me just turn my torch off, sorry. There you go, that's better. I can still see you. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Oh, then? That's fine, I can see you. Okay? Yeah, I can see you. Yeah? Yep, I can see you. Well, I can only just now. Just, just fine, I can see you. Good? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to give you a phone. Okay. Hi. And if you just hold the phone and then we'll, we'll be in communication yeah. with you. Right. And, uh, are you coming with us, Mike? Or are, you, are you leaving the camera here? I'll come in there, with you. Come in there? Yeah. I know you like moving things. Can you move the doll for me? If at any point something happens, can you just tell us and just talk over me? Hello? You okay? Dave, can you move the doll, please? I want you to build up the energy by moving the glass around the table, Bob. That's it. I want you to start making it go faster and faster. We want you to get the energy stronger so you can move the dolls. Faster and faster, Dave. Come on. Faster for me, Dave. Faster for me, Dave. Really try and move the doll from you, okay, David? Take it faster. Take it faster, David. Can you do me a favour, David? Start to take the planchette around the table. Faster, David. Mm. Now that David, can we ask you, David, can we ask you to move the planchette, just stop in the middle for me, can we ask you to move the glass towards me if you can make the doll turn round to face the lady in the room, can you do that? Okay, that explains the walking about sound. That's what it sounds like. Okay. You're able to do that. Don't have to if you don't want to. If you, if you can't take the glass away from me, you can. Okay. He's saying he can do it. 
David, can you do it now for me? Move the planchette around the table for me, David. Faster for me. Faster for me, David. Faster for me. And stop it in the middle. David, can you move it now, please? Bring it towards me if you can. It sounds like someone's walking around this room. Okay. David, did you move the head of the doll? Did you move the doll around, David? Say yes if you did, I'll know if you didn't. No is away from me, yes is towards me. Come on, David. Is it yes or no? Did you move it at all? David, can you move the planchette around the table, please? Faster, Bobby, come on. Keep the energy going. Faster, Bobby. Faster, Bobby. And stop. David, can we ask you if you moved a dollar towards it? Yes or no? Yes towards me. Okay, he's saying yes, Mike. Are you still looking at the doll? Do you want to tell us what's going on, if anything? There's a couple of weird noises in here and it, it's gone colder. Okay. Let me ask a question. David, move the glass around the, the table for me. Planchette around the table, there we go. I want to ask you a question. Okay. Can you stop the glass in the middle? Are you responsible for making it go colder? In the room. Yes, he is. Say obvious, you know, I can see obvious things and I don't like saying obvious things, but you know, I keep seeing you know the trolleys coming in and there's bodies on the trolleys, that's what I'm trying to think. I keep saying, um, Head there, and old Mike's got a red light 
on the cameraman. Did anybody see a red light next to Terry's head on the opposite side? No, I've just seen a little flash. Is that right? John is in the circle. Oh, yeah. Can anybody smell something at the moment? There's, there's like a smell coming in the room. And it's like a musky smell. Yeah, besides the musky smell. With a little kind of sweetness to it. Do me a favor guys, can you all turn around so you're holding hands? The opposite way, so you're facing outwards and you're back to the wall. You're still holding your hand. Keep your eyes open. Keep your eyes open so you can see. Now, what we do, we're covering every part of the room, okay? Keep your eyes open. You ask you to join us and open the door, load the temperature, bring yourself through, bring yourself forward now. Bring yourself forward. We ask some spirits from the past to come forward and show yourself to us now. Come closer to this circle and show yourself. Now you've all turned round, for me it feels a little bit heavier. The energy feels a little bit heavier. Because we've, we've reversed the energy, you know what I mean. Can you make yourself known to us in some way? Can you show yourself to these people in the circle? Get that smell again. There's a waft of that smell again. Does anybody get a waft of that smell? It's like, uh, you know, I know what, what you were saying before about it being musty, you know, musty and stuff, but it, it's other than that. Uh, yeah, there is a sweetening to it, but. It's almost like you're eating. It smells, it smells like that. Yeah? And it's getting stronger, isn't it? Can you smell that? Can anybody smell the same thing? No. For me, it's getting stronger. This is your way of communicating. Can you make it smell stronger still? Do you think stronger? Can you touch somebody from outside of the circle? Can you push someone backwards for me? Push somebody backwards slightly for me. Push them. Push them. Can you spell it? Oh. Yeah, it's starting to come over here now. Yeah. Quite strong, isn't it? Oh, there you go. Mm. Oh. Is it it's like a urine smell? It is, yeah. So they made it go stronger. Oh, yeah. Thank you for that. Can this not make me feel sick? Thank you. Can you walk around the room for me. Walk around the room. 
room and identify yourself. Show yourself as you walk past. Walk around the outside of the circle. Push somebody backwards for me. Touch somebody. Whatever you can do, do it now, please. Just communicate with us. Next is someone's got a pressure on the right shoulder. Anybody in the circle got a pressure on the right shoulder? So you John, do you mean I'm half swaying here? Yeah, Jim. It's, it's, yeah, he's swaying like mud. There's another wave of smell coming through, I don't know if anybody can smell that. It's different. We haven't done much next door, have we? Should we go in there? <laughs> Just 
Jim, you just got a minute, mate. Jim. Jim. What was going on then, Jim? Could you explain? All I've seen you is... If, if you could imagine Michael Jackson and Walker, the way he's coming forwards and backwards. Is it was somebody was pulling us on, on my shoulders and pushing us? That's what it felt like. That was really erratic. Yeah. He was backwards and forwards quite a lot. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Cheers. Thank you. Feels sick, but not as bad as in there. Mm. Horrible. 